Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to take a look at some tips for brand new Roku TV owners. According to Roku's internal numbers, Roku is now the third most popular TV OS in the United States being sold new right now. So we wanted to break this down, take a look at uh, what new Roku TV owners need to know. Now some of these tips will work for Roku players also. We're going to specifically focus on Roku TVs today and help you um, hopefully get the most of your new Roku TV. First though, if you're new here, hey, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it helps us a lot because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we're doing and hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost cable TV. And still watch the shows you enjoy or maybe just get the most out of your Roku TV. Real quick disclaimer, again, this video is targeted to new Roku TV owners, people who may not have experience with Roku before. I know from talking to our readers, there is a growing number of people buying Rokus for the first time, and I wanna help you out. So if you're an experienced Roku user, you use it all the time, some of this may seem basic to you, and I understand. This is really aimed at people who are brand new to Roku TVs. So let's talk about your Roku TV real quick. When you first launch your Roku TV, it's gonna ask you to do a few things to set it up, and it's very simple. Follow the instructions on the screen, very easy. At one point, it will say, go to this website, roku.com slash whatever. Just do exactly what it says on the website. It will ask you to create an account, and that account will allow you to have multiple Rokus in your home, all with the same um, account. So all the, if I, have, if I put Netflix on this Roku, the Roku in the bedroom will also get Netflix, for example. So follow the steps that Roku lays out there. It's really easy. But then on the left-hand side, you've got your standard menu. Your home screen's where you find all your apps. And just like you would if this was, for instance, your iPhone or your Android phone, you have all these apps. Here's Netflix, here's Hulu, here's YouTube. Let's click on YouTube. You click on it, it launches directly into YouTube here so you can enjoy everything that YouTube has to offer. Yeah, I'm not logged in right now, that's okay. Um, but you can see, it's a standard YouTube um, user interface here. Very, very easy to use, very basic. So really think about your Roku TV now when it comes to like the home screen of all these apps, like your iPhone and like your uh, Android phone. It, it's the same thing. So you, when you first do this, you'll log in just like you would on your phone or your tablet or your computer, and then it keeps you log in so, so you're all set. But Roku TV also has HDMI ports, also has the ability to have an antenna just like you would for um, a regular TV. So you see on HDMI 1, this is actually our Fire TV. I use this for uh, reviews, so I have many different streaming players plugged in here. And there's a cool thing you can do here. So HDMI 1 doesn't really mean much, right? What, what do I have plugged into the HDMI 1? The cool thing about Roku TVs is you can actually go and name these to different things. So I can go in here, if I hit the star key on my remote, when I'm over that, it brings up this menu. I can rename the input, I can remove it, I, I can do all kinds of things. But let's rename it here. So I can actually do like, hey, if this is gonna be my cable box or satellite box, that's an option. Blu-ray or DVD player. Maybe this is actually a game system. I could say Wii, Xbox, etc., Or other Rokus, cameras, all kinds of different options here. And you can even set a custom name. So within limits, I can type in a name for a particular thing here. So it's really cool. So I can name the different HDMI inputs here. I can remove the different HDMI inputs. If I only have one HDMI input connected to my TV, I can just go in here and I can select remove input if I don't want to use it. Uh, the other cool thing is Roku's have a very powerful antenna system. So if you connect your antenna to the back of your TV, uh, which I don't actually have connected right now, but this will give you an idea it will bring up this guide here, and it even if I press left after I open this, even it has a traditional grid guide here for free for my Roku TV, um, which does a lot of cool things. Um, for instance, um, the Doctors is on right now. See that little icon right there? If I, that means there's streaming options here. If I click on the star key, and I can go in here, I can find out more about it. I can also go and on uh, many of these, uh, like Dateline, I believe, uh, will be able to actually watch them. So here we go. So Medium is available on Hulu, Voodoo Movies, and Amazon Prime Video app. So I can say, hey, I wanna watch um, more episodes. I can go in here and say, oh, I wanna, here's more, continue watching more like this. Maybe I really like this show. I can go in here and um, select that kind of content. So not all shows offer that ability, but many of them do. Um, the Real, The Doctors, et cetera. So this gives you an idea of really cool. So to, to get to that, you can go into 
antenna TV, and then you press the left and you open up this grid guide here for your antenna that you've connected to your TV. So let's keep moving along and look at some other features here. One of the cool things about antennas on Roku is you can actually pause live TV. It doesn't have a DVR built into your Roku TV, but if you take a USB stick and you connect it to your Roku TV through the USB port in the back, it needs at least, uh, I forget what it was, 16 gigs I think it was, it can pause live TV up to 90 minutes, allow you to rewind if you're watching a live football game over your antenna. You can rewind that play or rewatch that play however you want, just like you could with a DVR. So keep that in mind. So it's a really cool um, uh, option there with that. So let's keep moving along. I'm gonna try to move a little quick here. Feel free to rewatch this video multiple times or ask questions down below. I'll do my best to answer them. But let's break down the different different tabs here on the left. So feature free is a great section here on Roku where they um, they collect a ton of 100% free content. Everything you see in feature free is free across many different apps, like Family Guy here, Beachfront Bargain Hunting, Bachelor in Paradise, Empire. These are all free content out here um, well, with ads. It includes classic content like the Andy Griffin Show to newer content, well, all included in here. And they're always updating this and changing it. They've even added live TV in here. So there's a live tab here so I can watch CBS News 24 seven, Yahoo News and um, Finance, Newsmax, ABC News, and more, 100% free. There's even um, movies and um, documentaries you will find in here. Always rotating, always changing. You never know what you're gonna find in the feature free tab. So check that out from time to time. Paid services like Netflix, Hulu are great, Sometimes free content isn't the best deal out there. And then there's the My Feed section here, and this is a section which allows you to say, hey, I absolutely love King the Hill. I wanna know if there's new episodes coming, or The Simpsons. And the great thing about this is it will not only um, show you where everything is, like King the Hill is now included for with your Hulu subscription, or with Philo, or uh, Comedy Central if you have a subscription. Um, so here's uh, The Simpsons, and you can see I can buy the episodes. Hulu's available, or it's available for sale on Vudu and Fandango and Amazon Prime and more. And it will also say, hey, on channel 44.1, Sunday, July 28th is 7 p.m. my time central. So it's pretty cool. So to add content here, you just kind of keep going, and you can add them in here. Um, let's see here, if I remember how to do it. Here we go, upcoming movies, TV shows. There we go, browse category. And here's where I can go through and browse different things in here and add shows. I can add the Big Bang Theory. And this is a great way to kind of track what's coming, what's going, new movies and more. And so when, if let's say you follow a movie, you say, I wanna know when the new Avengers Endgame will be available for streaming. It will appear in your My Feed at some point in the future when that happens. So I can follow it right here and then know about that. So keep that in mind. My feed is a great place to track particular shows and movies that you're very interested in so you don't miss a new episode. Or, you know, like in the case of King of the Hill, for a while it wasn't available streaming. Now it's on Hulu, and I would know that there. Now Roku does on the Roku TVs have the Fandango movie store and the, and the T Fandango TV store. Unless you bought it at Walmart, then they remove it because of a deal they have with Walmart. But this allows you to buy movies and TV shows through Fandango. You don't need to do that here. You can also buy them through Google Play, um, Vudu, uh, Amazon, Prime Video, etc. Really pick out wherever you want. Lastly, a few cool things is Roku does have a really nice search feature here um, so that it searches a ton of channels. But let's say uh, we wanna look for ABC. Let's just kinda see what happens here. So um, this was kind of a bad, Bad pick right there. Let's look for uh, Doctor Who real quick, and this will be a better example. So if you have a particular um, TV show, uh, Doctor Who right here, that you want to follow and you want to find, let's go into Doctor Who, the new ones from 2005. So the cool thing here is I can go back and I can find it where it's available on all kinds of places. So season eight is available with a Philo subscription or it's available for sale here and is available if you have an Amazon Prime subscription. So it's really cool that Roku doesn't really prioritize many um, apps here. 
and it allows you to find them. And you can also say follow on Roku, which will put this now into that My Feed section on your Roku. So take advantage of this because it allows you to very easily find this across many different one or many different uh, apps and services on your Roku. Now, channels on Roku's are apps. So you probably noticed that there's the Roku channel store. This is where you find Roku apps. So for like Netflix or Amazon, you would download them through the Roku channel store because Roku calls channels, calls apps channels. And there's many different categories here. New and notable, I always like to check this out, see what's here. Just added is another great one um, here. New and notable is kind of more of them promoting particular things. The just added channel is where you really find the stuff that just came to Roku. So keep that in mind. Uh, most popular, of course, you go and get things in here like Netflix, YouTube, Amazon, etc. And then the top free. This is 100% free content. Highly recommend you check this out because it's got so much content here. So make sure you spend some time, dive through here because you, you got a ton of content. Music apps, games, um, and more. You got weather apps and all kinds of different features there. So check that out. It's a pretty cool feature that gives you a ton of content for you to check out. So that's the left hand side. Now there's one more area I want to quickly get into is the settings. So in here, if you need to change your Wi-Fi network, if you, let's say, I know you set this up during the original setup for your TV, but let's say your Wi-Fi network changed. You got a new router or something. Right here is where you can go in here and change that. You can also do things like change the theme, the look of your Roku TV. You can give it a totally different theme. I can make it look like Star Trek. I could give it a patriotic theme and more um, if you so choose. Maybe a love um, Valentine's Day theme is more of your, your style. So there's really a huge catalog of 52 different themes you can change the look of your TV to. You can also change your screen saver. So you can see here's a collection of 681 different screen savers to pick from. So check this out, a really cool collection of different screen savers. Don't be afraid to bounce around. They've got ones that are just a clock. They got ones that are a little bit of everything. And even many channels now have screensavers there too. So check that out. There's 600 some screensavers. Um, and then you also have your TV picture settings. So you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the HDR factor and more in this. Now, you're probably saying, look, I want some more controls over my particular Roku TV, right? Well, that's where um, really diving into it. Let's see if I'm signed into Netflix on this TV still. If you actually launch a stream, I'm not. So let's go into YouTube real quick because I can find that in YouTube. So if you want to change the picture settings, you want different features on it, you really want to get into the nitty gritty of the settings, go into a particular app, start a stream in the app, and then hit the star key. So let's um, check out this general chicken recipe video real quick. So you gotta wait for the actual one to start here. I can skip this ad because I'm not logged in. Oh, after a few seconds, just like you can YouTube. All right, so right here is where I would pick. Uh, I started the video, I clicked on the star key, which is this key right here, the little asterisk key. Now I can do things like picture mode. I'm, I'm in low power, I can go into movie, I can go into normal and more. I can go into picture size and adjust that. So I can take, uh, I can stretch it, I can zoom it. If it's like a cropped one, then try to make it. I always leave it on auto, it auto detects what the original quality is there. I can set a, um, a sound mode so I can play around with that. I can also go into a sleep timer to set it to auto stop whatever I'm watching. And there's even advanced picture settings here where I can really go into the different settings. So to get to this is you start any stream and then you can make the changes. Now the thing to remember here is some of these changes will be specific to that app. So you may want to change it different ones. And it really is a really in-depth detailed view, but you need a stream happening. Launching YouTube, launching Netflix, launching Hulu, and then just trying to edit the settings won't do anything for you. You actually have to be playing a movie, playing a TV show in one of those apps to adjust the brightness, actual finite details. So I hope that video helps you. I hope that answers your questions. This is a quick, very fast overview of what you need to know about Roku TV. I hope these tips help. A few real quick recap. These apps here on your home screen are just like apps on your phone or tablet. So keep in mind, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon works very similar, just bigger on your screen, you need to log in just like you would on your mobile device. 
With uh, the inputs, you can rename these inputs. These are just the inputs of the back of your TV. You can remove them. You know, just by hitting the star key, you can do things like rename, remove, move them around on the screen. If you don't like it, just select the move. After you hit an icon, you can select and move it around. If I want to, let's say I really want um, Sony Crackle to be at the top, I can select move channel, and I can move that to the very top by hitting the star key and then move channel. So you can rearrange this to your desired layout. On the left, there's all kinds of different features. Spend some time exploring the streaming channels. Take advantage of the Roku search for, to search for movies and TV shows you want because there's a lot of great content there. And spend some time in the settings, taking, taking a detailed look through all that. So that is a quick beginner's guide. I can't cover everything in a 15, 16 minute video, whatever this ends up being. But I hope this kind of gets you a starting point for being a new Roku owner for a Roku TV. It's a little bit different than Roku players, but if you've had a Roku player, you're probably gonna be right at home here with just a few different features to control the TV. So if you have any questions, I'll leave it below. I'll do my best to answer it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It lets YouTube know you enjoy what we're doing and hopefully we can help you out. So I'll see you tomorrow for another cord cutting video and take care everybody.